All right, I want to cover one other uh, thing that I forgot to cover in the last videos, and that is how you override a method. So let's actually add a method to generic animal, and let's just say this is going to be um, a public method that just prints something out. Public void print um, print stuff. Oh no, print stuff is already a name we were using. So um, generic animal, what does a generic animal do? Uh, jump up and down. So public void jump. Doesn't take any parameters. And all this is going to say is when we call it system.out.println, it's just going to say I'm jumping in a generic way. I don't know, something like that. Okay, well, this method is now accessible to our cat class. So um, let's say under generic animal, it's called ga.jump and see what it does. So the first thing that comes up is I'm jumping in a generic way. Okay, what if we call frank.jump? Frank.jump, you can probably guess, is going to um, make Frank jump. I'm jumping in a generic way. Oh, this is Frank's thing. It's just not printing in the correct spot. I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, let's just keep doing it this way. And we can call mini.jump. And it'll again be kind of uh, confusingly, well, let's do it at the bottom instead of at the top so it's less confusing. Um, sorry, just a sec. All right, so now it'll say at the bottom, I'm jumping in a generic way for each of them. I'm jumping in a generic way. Okay, but <clears throat> cats, uh, maybe we want to have a different method, a different way for a cat to jump. We still want cats to be able to jump. We just don't, uh, we just want them to be able to jump in a different way. Um, well, you can do that. You can override a method. So uh, in cat, if you want something different to happen when um, jump is called, you just override it here, public void jump. And here we can system.out.println. I'm pouncing on mice. All right, and so now, even though, you know, is, the question is, is Java's compiler smart enough to figure out that, yes, in fact, although, um, in this case, this is the interesting one, although Mini is a generic animal, Mini is also a cat, and what is this going to do? Which one is the bottom one going to do? Is it going to call, is it going to say, I'm jumping in a generic way again, or is it going to say, I'm pouncing on mice? And let's run it and find out. And in fact, Java's compiler's is smart enough to figure out that although Minnie is a generic animal, she overrides uh, the jump method because the animal class has a jump method and so um, so does the cat class. So Java is able to figure out I should use the cat class's jump method because it has overridden uh, the parent class. So you can see obviously Frank's works. Uh, obviously the generic animal just uses the generic animals jump method, but it is interesting to note that in fact the compiler can figure out that Minnie, although she was created as a generic animal, is also a cat, and therefore because the generic animal class has a jump method, uh, Java's compiler can trace it down to subclasses and see if whether or not those methods have been overridden in the subclass to which uh, a particular object is a part. Okay, so um, of which an object is a part. So uh, that's the last thing that I would like you to cover. Um, try and overwrite a method in whatever you're doing. So now today, your job is to um, try and create some sort of system like this about whatever category you choose. Could be plants, could be boats, could be cars, could be planes, could be anything that is kind of a generic category. And then your job is to create uh, at least one pr uh, subclass of that category and have it inherit from the parent class and play around with that until you start to understand it. Okay, next time.